Hi everyone, today I'm doing a follow-up review on the uh, SOM SMS 200 and how it sounds with the uh, power supply, the SOM SPS 500. Um, so I listened to the uh, SOM uh, SMS 200 for about uh, three weeks. Um, with just the wart power supply that is provided with it. And I did uh, a review earlier uh, describing how that sounds. Um, so uh, now I um, listened for about a week with the, uh, the power supply. I'm just going to describe the differences if I hear any. Um, I use the uh, same uh, setup. I use Audi Irvana. Um, to stream into the uh, SOM uh, using a DLNA. Um, I did try the uh, plugging in my hard drive to the uh, uh, to the SOM uh, SMS 200 and um, it was kind of, it didn't work very well. I have over 200 albums uh, in my uh, in my uh, um, uh, hard drive. Um, a lot of them are high res, big big albums, uh, or big files. Um, and I just found the uh, the software very clunky. Um, it just wasn't uh, very smooth. There's a lot of issues. Um, so that was a little bit disappointing when plugging in the hard drive to the streamer. Um, it just didn't work that well. It's kind of a pain. So. Um, the reason I buy this product is uh, for a, a simple solution. Um, so if you kind of just want to plug in a hard drive to this and if you have a bunch of albums, I don't think it's probably the best, uh, um, the best option. Um, you could probably uh, find something better. Um, I'm not sure what, but um, this isn't the best. Maybe just a computer. Um, because the sound quality uh, with just the SOM SMS 200 compared to my MacBook Pro, which I uh, streamed into my uh, Lindorf uh, TDAI uh, uh, 2170, um, compared with just the MacBook, it doesn't sound a whole lot different. Um, so I listened to the uh, to the SOM SMS 200 with the uh, power supply. I'll show you what the power supply looks like. I'll show you the back here. You could change different voltages, which is kind of cool. Here. That's the back. And there's just one switch, so you kind of just flip this switch up and it'll power the uh, uh, the streamer here. So sound quality wise, the um, the power supply <laughs> does make a difference. Um, is it a huge difference? It's a noticeable difference. I feel like there's more um, the music sounds has a little bit more body to it. In general, um, I'd say like ninety percent of the songs. I could hear a difference compared to just streaming from my uh, MacBook Pro um, uh, plugged in directly via USB to my uh, Audi Irvana, or sorry, to my um, Lindorf uh, amp. Um, it's just more full bodied, it has just more of a, uh, a presence in the sound. Uh, so. It, I would say it does sound better. There's some songs I couldn't really hear the difference at all. Um, so, you know, this whole setup is a little expensive if you buy it at regular price. Um, if you have a MacBook Pro already, and if you're kind of happy with the sound, um, and you're using some software like Rune or Audi Irvana or something, I think that may be good enough. But if you wanted to take it a step up, and you wanted to get a setup like this. Um, if you have like a, a pretty decent system and 
you kind of just want to max out the performance. I have some Dynaudio Contours 20 speakers and you know the uh, Lindorf amp. Um, then maybe this is a, a logical step for you. Um, so you know it's a I'm giving this a, a thumbs up but it's not a it won't uh, make a drastic difference in your life uh, or the sound. It'll make a difference it'll sound better but it won't sound magically better. Um, so that's my review of this setup. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.